So let's talk about some of these uh, trends that we see. So you've, you've all heard about the new move towards this uh, global world. And I, I've seen that you've had a couple of presentations, people like John Doerr, who've touched on that. So I won't copy what they've said. But I would just like to iterate to you how this is changing, because we are looking more and more at companies who will have global plays. So a few years ago, we started to think about the world not just in terms of markets for our companies, but also in terms of leveraging talent for outsourcing. Now we're looking at investing in those countries and building companies. So at Mayfield, we now have Mayfield China. We've just announced this. We started to invest in China alongside another fund two years ago. And after spending some time in Beijing last year, we decided that we would embrace that fund and it would become Mayfield China. So we are now investing in companies that are participating in the Chinese local market and also in companies such as semiconductors and components that are looking to exploit the global opportunity from China. So this is very exciting for us. In order to be glo global, you have to be local. So we have a local team in place there. So we're not trying to manage those companies from here, but we are trying to learn what is important there. So you know, we are spending time trying to understand those new opportunities and how we can also support the companies that we've invested in. So once again, you've got a country that is emerging and growing fast and is looking to leverage what's been done in the US, but also adapting those things to its own market. And what is interesting, one of the companies we've invested in in China is a dating site. So there's lots of online dating here. But in China, it's also difficult for Chinese people to have somewhere to meet. So our online dating has an offline component. So we have um, lounges and places where people can actually meet the people they've met online, offline. So, you know, you have to adapt some of those businesses for the local markets. And I thought that was particularly interesting. And, and the very nice rooms, by the way, it's all about having tea and coffee, and that's about it. But it, 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 was, it was fun to see. So um, we're also looking to India very carefully. And if you look at the Indian market, there is just a huge middle class there. And there is an abundance of talent. And there may be many of you here who come from India. What is interesting is that we're seeing more entrepreneurs going back to India to build businesses there. And there is a very strong communications infrastructure there that's being built. And the talent that's building that is taking those products and taking them to other markets. So I mentioned we've just invested in an optical networking company. Two of our partners are in India right now. And they're looking to assess how we might address the India market. So we think for us it would be very difficult to spend too much time developing early stage companies like we do here, but we'd like to get involved later and take it from there. But very interesting. And the other thing when you look at these countries is that you're not necessarily investing in technology. You might be investing in a shoe manufacturer or the next Starbucks or the next Hertz. And so it's very exciting looking at these types of businesses and how we can build great global companies. So a few years ago, VCs were very focused on this area, maybe Seattle, maybe LA, maybe Boston. And now they really are looking to the world.